Hey guys, Mr. Johnston here. I am so excited to show you about how to put together some of these mechanical uh, gears that we've been talking about. Um, so you should have one of these. Uh, it is a mechanical gears, is what it's labeled as. And the first couple ones we're gonna do right now. The simple gear train and the simple gear train with idler. So make sure you have this because this is what I will be uh, referring to as we go. All right, uh, first things first, you need to make sure that you have uh, these pieces, okay? Um, so you need to make sure that you have two big gears, a small gear, a crank, uh, a couple of, of shafts and about six, so about three shafts and six shaft collars, all right? Six um, flat bearings or bearing flats and you're going to want about six pop rivets also. Uh, that's, that's about it, that's about all we need. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just pick a spot on this uh, rail here and I'm going to attach uh, one of the first uh, gears. Okay, so I'll start with a bearing and I'm gonna put a bearing right there. And let's see, Let me zoom out a little. Okay, put a bearing right there. Now I'm gonna take one of these pop rivets and I'm only gonna do one uh, spot, okay? So I'm just gonna uh, put the pop rivet through uh, the very end there and just make sure that you are going from the metal side to the uh, to the plastic side, okay? Gotta go from the metal side to the plastic side. Um, and then I'm gonna do another bearing here on the other side and again, I'm gonna do the same thing from the metal side through to the plastic side and push it in. Now notice they're kind of they're staying in place because they do fit kind of in there um, without issue if uh, if you have them in the in the right spot and then if you put put the pop rivet in they kind of stay in place. Okay, and what's going to keep them in place further is uh, a um, a shaft with a couple of shaft collars. So I already have a shaft with a shaft collar on it to kind of save some time. I already tightened it on there, um, but I want to have a shaft collar inside here too. So I'm going to take uh, one and hold it down here and then slide the shaft collar in there like that and then all the way through. There we go. Okay, now I want this to stay in place. Now I could tighten the shaft. If I tighten the shaft collar there, this can still move like that. So I want to move this shaft collar all the way to that side and then and then tighten it, okay? And now I have my input gear, okay? So I have a gear right here and I can put my crank right here. And then there we go. So I have my input, my input gear, just like that. Okay, next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that these mesh properly. So I'm gonna hold it in place and kind of look through the little hole and see kind of where it lines up to. And so I found where it lines up to, that's my spot. And I'm gonna take the bearing and I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna put it so it's the middle one. It's going right through the middle one. And again, I, I don't need that many pop, bearing, uh, pop rivets, so I'm just do one on the side. There we go. And uh, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna put that. Uh, well, you know, I will. I will go ahead and do it because I'm, I'm feeling crazy. All right, so I'll make sure that I get one of these pop rivets. Put a bearing here. And then you're gonna sometimes have to maybe help have someone help you, but there we go. And then again, a shaft. I'm doing, doing basically the exact same thing I just did. I'm gonna slide that through there like that. All right. I'm gonna crank that down. Not too tight, because you don't want to strip out the, the thing. And ooh, I got it too tight. It won't turn. All right, there we go. Now I can put this gear on. There we go. Simple gear train. I can turn it right here and I get an input and output. Okay, make sure you answer your questions. All right, cool. All right, next thing I wanna just take off just this side. Okay. And then I am gonna remove these pop bearings, or these bearings. If you take the end of your uh, Allen wrench and push it toward the middle, they'll, they'll go flying sometimes, so be careful, like that one just did. All right, so now I'm gonna take the small gear, because I'm doing the second one here. I'm doing the uh, gear train with idler, and I see where my hole is, just right there. 
and get one. Just like that. Again, take yourself a shaft collar for inside, right there. Push that through. And they do, so I've got that right there. Right, now I'm going to add this one. There you go. Now notice how everything is moving smoothly. There's no seizing up. It's not like it's getting stuck on anything. It's going nice and smooth. Okay, and make sure you answer those questions. Again, look how the gears are moving. All right, just like in the video we watched, you can see how the gears are moving. That's all there is to it. Make sure you break it down properly and put everything back where it goes.